YouTube, this is uh, Windows Live Part 7 here, um, and I'm starting to make um, XHTML tutorials now. For those of you that don't know what XHTML is, it's just the programming language they use to make, make internet websites. Uh, for those of you that know what HTML is, um, XHTML, let's just say it's a better version of it. Okay, so uh, first of all, I'm going to show you guys an HTML or XHTML code. It's kind of like the same because that has the same tags and all that. I'm going to show you what a tag is just now. Okay, so um, first of all, you want to open up your internet browser. Just wait for it to load. Might take two seconds or more. And just go to a page like YouTube. Don't use Google. Google's not that good to see it. Go to YouTube. Oh, by the way, if you want to know how to do that, like you just type the word without the www.com and hit Control Enter to the www.com will come automatically. And then just hit an empty space. And hit the View Page Source. Sometimes it might say um, view source code or something like that. Um, so view page source, and these are um, this is an HTML code. So these things in the triangle brackets are called tags. And um, as you might see here, if you type a word in there, it has to be special words, of course. Um, the tag is opened, and if you type this before it and the same word, the tag will be closed. So yeah, we're going to be learning how to do this, but not all today. It's going to take a really long of lot of time. And also, a really cool way to style your HTML is CSS. It's just like another programming language, but it's not hard. It's really easy. And um, we're going to be learning both in these series of um, videos. So yeah, let's get started. The first thing you want to do, you want to go to your internet browser and go to the page called www.htmldog.com and hit the enter key. Now on the left hand side under references go to HTML tags and this window should show up and you click the doc type link and you just copy this code here select it all and right click copy or control C and then you can close your internet browser. Next thing you want to do you want to open up a basic text editor like notepad in the next video we're going to learn how to get like, a better text editor but this one notepad will just fine and you just hit control V or right click paste to paste this code we just copied and um, there you have it you just need that for XHTML now you want to hit spaces like two three times and type uh, open these triangle brackets type HTML and close it and this is your first tag hit spaces, uh, hit uh, enter a few times, and close the HTML tag. Like I said before, anything between these two tags, uh, uh, between these two triangle brackets, is called a tag. And this opens it, and with this thing before it, it closes it. So everything between this will be in the HTML tag. And um, these two are just two ways of telling the computer, okay, we're programming with HTML now. And um, this is just a newer way, but you need both of them. You, this one's like the most important, the HTML tags. This one's not as important, but it, you should use it, really. Okay, then you want to type, your next tag is the head tag. Now, in the head tag, you put everything that's, let's say, general. For example, what's general? This, notepad, isn't that general? That's the title, right? So what you want to type, you want to type, open title. And you want to close the title. And now you want to type, this is my first HTML uh, website. Between the two tags, make sure that this opening triangle bra uh, bracket is in the right side of your text. And um, the closing one of the opening tag, the closing bracket of the opening tag is in the left side of your text. 
and make sure it's in this order that the text is in the title tag, the title tags are in the head tags, the head tags are in the HTML tags, and just right before them is the doc type tag. Now in HTML, or let's say XHTML, every tag has to be closed except for the doc type tag. In HTML that didn't used to be the case, but it's just much neater if you close everything, right? So um, now let's just check this out. This is the last thing we're going to do for today, so let's take our time. So I'm going to uh, click the file button, click save as, and um, in the text field I'm going to type, let's say index dot html make sure to put that dot html it's really important it makes your document an html file um, <coughs> so like it automatically opens in internet explorer let me just show you I'll minimize that see if you double click it now or right click open it will automatically open an internet explorer but if you didn't save it as an dot html file or if you accidentally typed comma html or something like that you can just cl right click you can even do this if it doesn't open with Internet Explorer anyway. Right click, open with, and then choose your internet browser. I'm going to choose Firefox. And um, as you can see in the second, okay, as you can see, the page is uh, just blank and nothing on it. But up here in the title, it says, This is my first HTML website. And um, that was your first tutorial on how to just set up an HTML website. Um, I really hope it helped, and uh, yeah, see you guys soon. Oh yeah, and don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe.